Hello, my name is Kasper, aka Coward underscore Q, uh, and I'm an artist. And in this video, I want to introduce myself like who am I and what am I trying to do. As I said, I make art. I started taking it seriously exactly two years ago, January 2022, and it was quite a beginning. I literally just came back drunk to my flat I was renting at the time, and my roommate wasn't there. I quickly became melancholic, sitting alone in the middle of the night. I wasn't satisfied with the way my life was going, and then something clicked in me. When I was a kid, I loved drawing, painting, uh, reading books, writing stuff. I was so happy back then. And eventually, when these memories were literally storming me, the title of this video relates to just that. Some of you probably had this grim experience similar to mine. Two things about me. I was diagnosed with ADHD, but just a year ago. And the second thing, I was raised in an abusive household. When I was growing up, I quickly learned that letting my emotions go out was a bad idea. I was punished for getting angry all the time. I was mocked for getting sad. When I was excited about something, when I was full of joy, I was told to settle down and be quiet. The worst part of this, I always was very emotional. About like everything. My parents also made it clear that I shouldn't do anything stupid. I should f focus on school and it should be my top priority. All these things weren't pleasant to me. They hurt me a lot. So to minimize the damage, I learned to go numb. Going numb is the strategy of a lot of kids in abusive households. Going numb means suppressing your emotions. If I got punished for getting angry, then I shouldn't get angry at all. If I was mocked for crying, I shouldn't ever cry in front of anyone. But emotions need to be expressed. If they aren't expressed, they're getting stored up in you, and they are tearing you apart. It's normal to get angry. It's normal to get sad. It's normal to be excited and full of joy. And I can't believe I need to stress that out. But I didn't know that then. Then I stored everything inside me. I focused on to do just a tiny amount of work, as little work as possible, and to take no risks whatsoever. I stopped drawing. I even stopped reading books, just because I was investing myself in them, in these activities. And if someone would yell at me while, while I was drawing or reading, I would get furious. I wasn't allowed to be furious. And I was yelled at constantly because I forgot about my chores all the time. And it looked as if I didn't listen and was disrespectful. 
those with ADHD might relate to this. I switched from something that was close to me to something that was practically useless, playing video games all day, all night. If someone took me away from my computer, I couldn't care less. Playing on the computer wasn't important to me. It played the trick though. I could go numb. To go numb is to ignore things so they stop worrying you. You do this because you think you have no other options. But you do. But then, for me, I didn't know that then. When you go numb, you lower your standards to feel safe in an environment in which you don't know what will happen. You don't confront the reality, because what will you do then? What will happen? You don't think about your future, because you have no future. The only thing that matters is to go full autopilot and survive the next day. When I entered high school, I was absolutely destroyed. I wouldn't talk to you today if it weren't for the support of my friends and my father living my home. I pursue art because it helps me heal myself and because this is something that brings me joy. This is something I want to do because this is me. I always wanted to do this and now I'm finally able be myself after a long time I can express my emotions and I can express myself freely finally and finally it's okay and to whoever listens to this and still finds themselves in the dire situation I want to say you are worthy of love and always were worthy of love and there finally will be time when you feel okay with being truly yourself thank you for listening mm. and I will see you and hear you in the next videos thank you thank you a lot